All right, guys, welcome back. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can add like fictitious content to our website. So say that we wanted to make a website for our client, but they didn't have all their content ready, their about us, all their correct wording, what they needed to be edited, but we can use Lauren Ipsum to use kind of like dummy content for the time being. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to, well, I'm already on it, but just go to like Ipsum HTML, just Google that, and right here, html-ipsum.com. Let's click on this, and here's all types of HTML tags. Here's an unordered list tag. Here's just basic paragraph text. This is usually just what I go with, medium paragraph. The whole kitchen sink, they got an H1 up there. We already have that, so we don't need this. Here's a form. We're not really ready to talk about forms. But what it is, I don't even know what language it's in. It's like a fake Latin or maybe like some Eastern European language that doesn't make sense. And nobody can really read it unless you maybe studied linguistics or something. But it's just to steal and use this dummy content for the time being. Just to supplement when you're ready to actually put your uh, regular content in there. So let's go back to our HTML dot or index.html page. And I'm going to do a little remix on this. I'm going to get rid of our H3 tag right here and we'll just say the title of this page or article or whatever you might be going for we'll just call it this is village park and in the h2 tag i will just say article by c h and i can bring this up a little bit because our html or our lauren ipsum is not an header tag, it's not a header tag, but it is within our article tags, so we need to put it after our closing H group tag, but before our closing article tag, I'm gonna paste this. Okay, perfect, I have a P tag right there. You could either delete it or add one right here. I'll just add a P tag up here. Just like that, so look at this. Pelinske, Habitat, Morbi, yada yada, it doesn't make sense to me. It's not supposed to make sense. It's just to give your client or whoever's looking at your website, just a visual of what your content will look like. So let's reload it. Okay. Our paragraph text is a little bit too big, so let's go to our CSS. Actually, let's just take our P tags out of here. Save it. Perfect. Okay, so what did I do to the CSS to make it stop right here? Well, let's go to our CSS page. I think we did this in the last video, right? We set it to like 60% with CSS3. Let's open this puppy up. And let's look at our content. Padding, 50%, correct. So say we'll say it's padding, we'll just take padding out, or without, I'm sorry, what am I talking about padding for? Take our without, we'll save it. Now, this should go all the way to the right-hand side. And it does, just like that. But that's not what we want, because we want our content separated from our nav bar, which is our side, a side HTML tag. So let's go back to our padding. Let's go to width, and let's set it to 65%. And we're using percent, because we're using CSS3. We're not using pixels. And let's reload it. Okay. Now I'm going to go with 60%. That's a little bit too wide. Perfect. I think that's perfect. And again, we're going by percentages. So if someone had a smaller window or a bigger browse window, see how our Lauren Ipsum content is still maintaining just 60% of however big our wrapper is? Well, this is HTML5, guys, and we're kicking some butt. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this Lauren Ipsum dummy content, yada, yada, made sense to you guys. You might want to throw in another paragraph or a break tag after article by CH. I'll do that right now. I'll drag on 20 more seconds of your time. Article by CH, we'll do a break tag. A line break tag. There it is. All right, guys, so in the next video, we'll start talking about uh, our sidebar as well as our footer. All right, guys, good luck. I'll see you over there.